a recurrence of the Paschal Feast. King of the faith of the people you have made your own, increase we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all we grasp and rightly understand in what form they've been washed, by whose spirit they've been reborn, by whose blood they've been redeemed, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad, rejoice in it.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God, and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith, who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my fingers into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. When he said, then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. 
Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Good morning once again. It has been one week since we celebrated the great feast of our faith, the feast of Easter, the feast of the resurrection. Yes, it is the great feast of our faith because we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, that he rose from the dead, conquering sin and death, and with that, he brings us new life. That is what we profess as our faith, that the risen Christ is our Lord and God. And in him, we too will renounce sin, reject the devil, profess our faith in God, and live our lives as God's beloved children. In not so many words, it is no to the devil and yes to God. That was expressed last Sunday as we renewed our baptismal promises by renouncing sin and the evil one and professing our faith in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I remember last Sunday, you can hardly find space in the pews. Look at, it, look at me now. Big difference. Our CEOs and A&Ws are not quite here yet. What is the A&W? Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. You see, we need to continue to pray for one another, support each other as we journey, especially through, during these glorious days. Well, one week has passed, and let us ask ourselves how we have been keeping up with our baptismal promises. Some may be a bit surprised and say, oh, what? I made a promise? Oops. Some may be rather realistic and say, well, if promises are made to be broken, then I'm sorry that I broke the promise. Whatever it might be, the fact is that keeping a promise is easier said than done. But breaking a promise of faith is not a light matter because it is expressed in unfaithfulness to God and wrongdoing to others. But thanks be to God, for his faithful love for us, and in his mercy, he forgives us. This Sunday is also known as the Feast of Mercy or Divine Mercy Sunday. And in the gospel, we heard that the risen Lord Jesus breathed on his disciples the Holy Spirit, who is the love of God. Then, eight days after, the risen Lord Jesus came back again, and this time, it was for Thomas, who demanded to see the five wounds of Jesus, specifically his hands and his side. Jesus did not reproach Thomas, but showed him mercy and forgiveness. And Thomas responded with those five profound words, and they are, my Lord and my God. My Lord and my God, an acknowledgement that he is as he is. My Lord and my God, who we see present here with us, my Lord and my God, who is going to be the same who will be offered in this altar of sacrifice, my Lord and my God, who you and I will receive body, blood, soul, and divinity at Holy Communion. My Lord and my God, who we receive through his word, we just proclaimed. So one week after the celebration of Easter, Jesus comes to us to breathe on us the Holy Spirit, the love of God, and to show us his five wounds that express God's mercy and forgiveness. There's only one thing we need to do to see those wounds, and that is to look at 
the crucifix. There's a story about a little boy who went to his grandparents for a visit and he was given his first slingshot. He practiced in the woods, but he could never hit his target. As he came back to grandma's backyard, he saw her pet duck. On an impulse, he took aim and let fly. The stone hit the duck squarely and the duck fell dead. The boy panicked. Desperately, he hid the dead duck in the woodpile, only to look up and to see his sister Sally watching. Sally had been seeing and watching it all, but she said nothing. After lunch, Grandma said, Sally, let's wash the dishes. But Sally said, oh, Grandma, Johnny told me he wanted to help in the kitchen today. Didn't you say that, Johnny? Then she whispered to him, remember the duck? <laughs> so Johnny did the dishes. Later, Grandpa asked if the children wanted to go fishing. Grandma said, I'm sorry, but I need Sally to help me make supper. And Sally smiled and said, that's all taken care of, Grandma. Johnny said he wants to do it. And again, she whispered to Johnny and said, remember the duck? So Johnny stayed, she stayed, well, he stayed and while Sally went fishing with Grandpa. Now, after several days of Johnny doing both his chores and Sally's chores, he finally couldn't stand it. He confessed to Grandma and that he killed the duck. And Grandma simply said, I know, Johnny. And she gave him a big hug. I was standing at the window and saw the whole thing. Because I love you, I forgave you. But I wondered how long you would let Sally make a slave of you. Just a story, my dear brothers and sisters, to let us know that God is loving and merciful. We are weak, we have sinned, but we must renew daily our faith in God who is love and mercy. And for sure, God does not remember the duck. He doesn't remember the duck. Because he is love and he is mercy. Perhaps we are at the point in our lives when we haven't gone to confession in a long time and we're still stalling trying to tell ourselves, I'm not going to that priest, I'll go straight to God. God does not remember the duck. Perhaps we can pray today and ask for the grace, God's grace, to help us prepare to go to confession after such a long time. Perhaps too, we can ask for the grace of unbelief. Just a few words to say. Lord, help our unbelief. Because that's where the rubber meets the road. The unbelief. And we miss the grace because of unbelief. We keep telling ourselves this excuses after excuses after excuses when we know that God is love and mercy, all we have to do is to confess and not become a slave of sin. We repeat with St. Thomas those five profound words after he had seen and touched our Lord's hands and side. My Lord and my God, 
he acknowledged humbly that God is indeed who says he is. May God's love and mercy that flow from the five wounds of Jesus grant you and me the strength to overcome our sinfulness and protect us from the snares of the evil one and not be afraid to approach the sacrament of his love and mercy. On this feast of the Divine Mercy, Divine Mercy Sunday, the Feast of Mercy, however you want to call it, it is a good opportunity for you and me to remind ourselves each day that God is indeed love and mercy, and he doesn't remember the duck. Doesn't. On the same topic of mercy, I would like to announce to you that uh, this weekend and this month, we will begin our Maintenance and Improvement Monthly Collection. A.V., can you please show a screen? That I received via email, and it says... For our 12th annual Best in the East Bay Reader's Choice Awards, hosted by the East Bay Times, Holy Spirit Church in Fremont was voted first place winner, best place of worship. Congratulations to you. That comes with responsibility. That comes with accountability. And so our new maintenance and improvement second collection will take place the first weekend of every month. Financial contributions made to this collection will be restricted and used only for the maintenance and improvement of our Holy Spirit facilities. General maintenance could include plumbing, electrical, roof repairs, exterior and interior painting, parking lot maintenance, security enhancements, fixing broken water and irrigation pipes. You can ask Father Frank. Water leaks, you can ask Father Frank. Any other general maintenance or emergency repairs that come up, you can ask Father Frank. (laughs) Please keep in mind that giving and supporting to this MNI or Maintenance and Improvement Collection is in addition to above and beyond to what you already give to our regular offertory each month or each week. The Maintenance and Improvement Collection or MNI is new to Holy Spirit Parish and just like any home, Emergency repairs are sometimes needed. Upgrades to old appliances and fixtures are needed or are so worn down that they don't properly function. This happens too at Holy Spirit. We have an old site that continues to need repairs. We have a lot of deferred maintenance that needs to be addressed. But without your continued generosity, these repairs cannot be addressed quickly. Now, by now, you know that I'm not one of those priests who like to talk about money during a homily. I don't like to do that because I know how how God has blessed you. I know that you are already aware of how much he has blessed you and how capable you are to share those blessings. So that's why I don't want to talk about that. But as your pastor, I'd like to remind you that it is these kinds of things, these awards make us who we are because we care for our parish. It's an effort on your part and our part to be able to get something like this. And so, we also started something new. We are still looking for parishioners who would like to join our Buildings and Grounds Committee. So if you're interested, please contact me or Eric, our new business manager in the rectory office. This committee will be very important in helping to address and prioritize various maintenance and improvement projects for our Holy Spirit community. I thank you in advance for your love and support and care. The last time I know I asked for your help, very specifically, was during the pandemic. When I was not even seeing you, I was just on the video. I was making appeal to each one of you to help us get through the pandemic. 
and you never failed us. And I'm asking you again for this, not for me, yet for the, for the priests after me, after Father Eddie, so that when they reach this place, it is a good and functioning place, well-maintained in its facilities. Generation after this generation. So, thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your care. But most of all, I thank you for your faith. Your faith that continues to speak for itself as we continue to move forward, to stay on mission, and continue to celebrate, especially these glorious days, thanking our Lord for his love and his mercy. Amen. Please all stand. And we now bring your baptismal promises. Dear brothers and sisters, to the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk in the newness of life. And so, not our length of servants is concluded. Let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son and Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water, and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us the forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for life eternal. Amen.
on this day when we honor Jesus, the King of Divine Mercy. Let us open our hearts to him and pray with humble faith. That the church be of one mind and one heart in the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders will bear witness to the good news of the resurrection and stay true to the mission entrusted to them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That catechumens grow in their faith in the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who, like Thomas, find it hard to believe in the resurrection may be helped to overcome their unbelief by the witness of the Christian community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick, especially Raleigh Salazar, and those caring for them may experience the healing power of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have recently died, especially Janet Seifert Lewis, Alberto Valadano, Cecilia Concepcion, Ronaldo Celestino, and Ronald Ruiz may rest in eternal peace of God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That is God's people devote time prayer with Jesus in the Adoration Chapel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our mass intentions, we pray for the intentions of the Prola family, for the to repose the souls of Leon Bautista, Daniel Cameo, Mary Jo Cameo, and David Cameo, and Edgardo Maravellas Calibo. For whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the prayers, the intentions that we hold in our hearts, and for all those whom we promise to pray for, in silence we invoke them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, you have gathered us together as the body, body of Christ, to be a visible light in our world. world. Here we unite in worship, worship, proclaim your word, word celebrate, celebrate the Eucharist, and, and are sent out to share your love. love. Lord, open our hearts to be filled with the Holy Spirit, and inspire us to go and make disciples. Make us a community within faith, mission, and service. By the power of the Holy Spirit, May Christ be present to us as we make Christ present to the world. Amen. Please be seated. We would like to invite the children to bring up their offertory gifts, and we thank parents for teaching their children the importance of being good stewards.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray. Thou blesses your people, and of those who brought a new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to love you yet more dearly in Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed. For it is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, our common Paschal joy every land, every people, exhausting your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, up your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this case you have brought to you for consecration, that you become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At this command, we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, 
upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession your presence will rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the twelve people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, At their passing from this life, give them admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you will soon the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. The Savior's human form, the divine teaching we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with our spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you all. Peace to you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
homebound. When this, this come forward, receive this consecrated host. Our church sends you forth to serve the sick and unbound. Please assure them of a lot of prayers and support. God bless you as you serve them. Go forth in peace. Amen. Jesus, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord, how can I love How we need this wondrous gift, so far surpassing all our thoughts. We stuck around with the door, oh, make us love more and more, oh, make us love. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for announcements. Our second collection supports our maintenance and improvement fund. These funds will be used for repairs such as plumbing issues, roof leaks, and campus lighting, just to name a few. Thank you for your generous support. We'd like to invite Lena and Jerry Soto to come forward and receive the vocations crucifix. Lena and Jerry, we present these vocations crucifix to you and ask that you pray this week for more vocations in the priesthood, religious life, and diaconate. Pray that the Lord would send more laborers to the harvest. Know that we are all also praying with you and we thank your family for being part of this vocations cross program. Thank you so much. The Filipino Society is hosting their $10 meal deal after Mass. Join us for a sit-down meal and fellowship at the Peace Center. We thank you for your support. The church is open for vacation Bible school from June 10th to 14th. Express what life was like for Jesus as a child at hometown Nazareth. On July 8th to 12th, explore the world of science while walking to basic elements of faith. See page 6 the bulletin for more information. Join us on Pentecost Sunday, May 19th, as we mark the 138th anniversary of Holy Spirit Church. Enjoy fellowship, entertainment, and an array of food and games. Raffle tickets can be purchased at the Paris office for various Paris ministries. Join us in the church for exposition and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament at 2 p.m. followed by Mass at 3 p.m. to mark the Feast of the Divine Mercy. You may bring images of the Divine Mercy to be blessed after Mass. And now we go to the fun part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'd like to invite those who get married in this month of April for those who have anniversaries in this month. Do we have couples? 
Three and one. Never be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah, no, <laughs> all the guys are looking at the women. Come on. <laughs> like, is it our turn? Yes. And we extend our hands as we pray for these couples. Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning, you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise bless the union of these couples so that they reflect the love and the union of Christ with church. Look with kindness to them today amid the joys and struggles of their life. You have preserved the union between them. Lord, by your grace, we need their marriage covenant, increase your love in them, and strengthen their bond of peace, so that they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Congratulations. <laughs> and how about those who have their birthdays for this month of April? Anyone? There we go. Our birthday celebrants, please stand. And then uh, can you extend your hands? We pray for our April birthday celebrants. Okay. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of these, your servants, who recall this month the days of their birth and rejoices in your gifts of life, love, family, and friends. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love that they may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. <laughs> and before the final blessing, we thank Deacon Steve for serving this Mass. Our altar servers, sacristans, ushers, ministers, lectors, of course, to our choir. Let's give them a big round of applause. And thank you all for coming to Holy Spirit Church. Please all stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your Bow your head for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you to today's Easter solemnity and His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And me who restores to, to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, me you who celebrate the goodness of the Paschal Feast, come with Christ's help and exalting spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bread, St. Michael, the Archangel. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray, under thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into us Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hallelujah.